just to give you an idea on what we're dealing with. See? Morning, folks. We're back at it again. Only this time we came prepared. Check this bad boy. Yep, and this is the brand. So this is far much better and more superior than that inferior hunk of junk. This one basically, you just need to hook it up. Well, that's the common part basically, hook it up. And as it has that squeeze trigger, so you, as you just squish, squish, it sucks all the uh, oil out of it. So this is the brake oil or brake fluid we just need to open it up measure and make sure that everything is works I'm not gonna do a sh how to for you guys because test the manual follow the manual it should be alright so basically hook it up squeeze that way it sucks then release the nipple it sucks the oil then close the nipple sucks again and so on and so forth until all the fluid is out or the bad fluid or the air yara 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 hopefully today we'll be able to get it sorted out and once we do then we can take this one for a spin because the plan is we need to get it out and we need to test drive it wash it clean it the whole jazz sweet so the kit includes multiple attachments. That depends because it's a universal one. So it depends on which fitting that you're after. This is how the manual says, basically hook up this, then that, that, and so on and so forth. Read the instructions. That's my only advice to you. Read the instructions. And once you do, oh yeah, let me show you. This is the brake fluid. And over here you can clearly tell it's full. I deliberately kept it open because I need to keep an eye on it. As much as I'm gonna take the fluid out, I need to make sure that I top it up. Top it up. See, attached. Now, how it works? Basically, it's attached, and the nipple itself is closed, shut. Pump, pump. Now. Some of these tools, it comes with the pressure gauge so that you can gauge because I think something to do with you need to keep pumping until you reach 10 bar pressure. And after that, you just release the nipple just enough for the fluid to get out. So see, I'm pumping. Okay. Now, here's what I'm gonna show you. Just look at it. I'll release it just enough. There you go, see? Then close it and keep doing it on and on and on and on until all the air or the bubbles are gone then after that you can basically resume work sounds easy and plus it gives you a bit of a workout for your hand so there's that too well boys and girls i think we hit the snag nothing too serious i mean if the engine is working if the gear is working everything is fine anything else is piece of cake yep that's what she said Tried to bleed the brake, didn't work. I thought at the beginning there's a lot of air inside. Sadly, I was mistaken. A friend of mine, he's actually a mechanic. He came, he had a look at it, and he tried to bleed it with me, and he said, you've got a master problem. So this is the master cylinder. This is the basically where you can tub it up, the brake fluid, and it's full. I'm trying to bleed it, so we decided to bleed from over here. These are what they call it, the brake lines and basically nothing is coming up so this one yep fluid is coming out each time you just uh, try to pump the brake the other one not so much that can only mean that we've got a leak inside under the dash there is no leak which means most likely the leak is somewhere here he had a look I don't know if I can show it to you properly but if you look closely here I don't know if you can see, but yeah, you can see that the paint is chipping. So that's a sign that the brake fluid is basically oozing out somehow, and it's basically damaging the paint. See? Yeah. Which means this one is damaged, or suspect damage. So, what are we gonna do? Well, we need to get it out. How do we get it out? First things first, we need to drain all the fluid out. So the same uh, bleeder that we bought, 
uh, basically we can just put the hose inside and pump 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 and that sucks up all the fluid out once this one is empty the reservoir that makes our job loosening those two bolts and the brake lines this one and the other one it makes it easier for us to get it out once we get it out then we'll be able to access the you know, you know this one, see this one, this is the master, okay? So there is an attachment that goes inside as well. We'll be able to access that. And we can also inspect uh, this one to see if there is brake fluid inside. Because there's nothing under the dash inside the car, which means if there is any leak, probably over here. Yep, that's fine, no drama, I can live with that. A few moments later. All right, just as we said, said we're gonna remove it and we removed it this is what you're gonna see there so this is where like when you pump the brake from the inside it goes all the way to here and this is where basically the brake fluid goes in and this is the reservoir I drained all the fluid out of it and look at it from the inside Ugh. look I suspect that it needs a repair, but I don't think that this whole thing is damaged. Uh, we just need to loosen these up, size 10. Once you loosen them up, these are the brake lines. You just uh, push them to the side, then you've got two nuts, size 12. And basically you can just get it out. Once you get it out, then you'll end up with this one. Here's what I'm gonna do. Until I get either a repair kit for this one or a replacement one, I'm just gonna make sure that these brake lines are completely shot or sealed so that at least no debris no dirt no nothing gets in and I'll try to clean this area I'm pretty sure because you see I don't know if you can see from your end you see? see how the paint that indicative of leaking yeah yeah that's gunky it's disgusting yeah, not cool, not cool. But hey, at least we're this far, or we're this deep, I guess. Sweet! Alright, I just want to show you something. This one, again, size 10. You can remove the reservoir out, which basically it's in good neck, it's just dirty. That's about it. This is where we need to work with. See how it's clean from here? So this is where the reservoir basically sits on. This is where the brake lines hook up to. And this is where it goes into the brake pedal. Can you see how dirty, and how ugly? See, there's a retaining clip over there. So you just need to remove that retaining clip and that allows you to remove all the seals. Once you remove the seals, you'll be able to see and get basically the cylinder, pretty much everything inside. There is a repair kit for this one, or I think they call it a service kit or something. Um, for the price, I think I'm just better off getting a new one just to be safe because at the end of the day, this is brake. Don't stuff up with brakes, man, and don't cheap out with that. So yeah, if I'm gonna get a brand new one that at least can secure us and to ensure that we don't have any problem over here. And that leaves us with the other side, which is this one over there. I just need to clean that area. And if I can paint it without causing any damage or overspray anywhere else, heck yeah, I will. It'll look cleaner that way, I guess. And after that, we'll top it up with a new brake fluid. And basically that should do it. Sweet. Just to give you an idea on what we're dealing with. See? I managed to mask these ones just to seal them off, the brake lines, and even those bolts over here so that if I spray it or something, at least I don't ruin them. We've got surface rust, not that much, but yeah, and this is basically the rubber thingy that we got it out from over here. So ideally, I would still prefer to clean this area to make it look more presentable so probably I'm just gonna seal this piece as well and seal this hole so most likely I'm gonna use this one after I wash it that way at least it wouldn't allow anything to get inside I'm not gonna need this one because I've already ordered a brand new part which will come with this one basically 
so I'll use it just a cover to mask this one but I still need to sand this area clean it and ensure that there is no debris there is no gunk oil or anything that way when I paint it the paint actually sticks to it that's the plan at least let's see how far we'll go with this plan and after quick cleaning sanding wax and grease remove any dirt and some primer there you go I use just a normal cloth just to block this one so that no spray goes inside I know it's not gonna be that big of a deal but just in case to be safe and I'll leave all the rags as is because I don't want to get them out when I play spray the black paint I'd rather keep them as is that way they're just basically protecting whatever that's gonna be oversprayed I mean if it makes any sense to you but yeah this is almost done I just need to spray it with black now in a perfect world you kind of need to get it out and clean it up but to get this one out the bolts they basically bolt from inside the car and too much of a drama to go there so I'd rather fix all the problems that I have from here because it's just a surface rust it's not that big of a deal moving on to something else sweet oh yeah let me show you what do you think painted black I just need to remove whatever that I had over there, the mask up, and everything will look good. It's almost OEM. Sure. That wasn't bad. 